Well, hello once again to everyone. Greetings, first of all, to members of our Pilgrim Church family. And greetings as well to any visitor who might be tuning in for this uh, video devotional study. This is Danny. I am here once again on behalf of all the elders at the Church of Christ in Pilgrim with our weekly opportunity for reflection and discernment or in abbreviated acrostic style, the word. And this is designed for Wednesday, August the 23rd, 2023. I'm sure that everyone viewing this video has either said yourself or has heard someone else say that there just never seem to be enough hours in a day. But we all have to face the fact that each day contains 24 hours, no more, no less, with the exception of when the calendar biannually moves into and out of daylight saving time, that is. With that in mind, I'd like to focus our attention today upon another prayer that I have encountered while continuing to read from this book that was recently gifted to me entitled Classic Christian Prayers. And this particular one is based upon the 24 hours that make up each day with which God has blessed us. It was composed by an individual named Chrysostom, who was a very prolific writer during the 4th century. And the prayer consists of 24 individual requests, apparently with the intent of coming before God with one of each of them for each hour of the day and night. So here is his prayer, hour by hour. Hour one, O Lord, deprive me not of your heavenly blessings. Hour two, O Lord, deliver me from eternal torment. Hour three. O Lord, if I have sinned in my mind or thought, in word or deed, forgive me. Hour four. O Lord, deliver me from every ignorance and inattention, from a petty soul and a stony hard heart. Hour five. O Lord, deliver me from every temptation. Hour six. O Lord, lighten my heart, darkened by evil desires. Hour seven. O Lord, I, being a human being, have sinned. You, being God, forgive me in your loving kindness, for you know the weakness of my soul. Hour eight. O Lord, send down your grace to help me, that I may glorify your holy name. Hour 9. O Lord Jesus Christ, write me the name of your servant in the book of life and grant me a blessed end. Hour nine, 10. O Lord my God, even if I have done nothing good in your sight, yet grant me your grace that I may make a start doing good. Hour 11. O Lord, sprinkle on my heart the dew of your grace. Hour 12. O Lord of heaven and earth, remember me, your sinful servant, with my cold and impure heart in your kingdom. Hour 13. O Lord, receive me in repentance. Hour 14. O Lord, do not leave me. Hour 15. O Lord, save me from temptation. Hour 16. O Lord, grant me pure thoughts. Hour 17. O Lord, grant me tears of repentance, remembrance of death, and the sense of peace. Hour 18. O Lord, make me remember to confess my sins. Hour 19. O Lord, grant me humility, love, and obedience. Hour 20. O Lord, grant me tolerance, magnanimity, and gentleness. Hour 21. O Lord, implant in me the root of all blessings, the reverence of you in my heart. Hour 22. O Lord, grant that I may love you with all my heart and soul, and that I may obey your will in all things. Hour 23. O Lord, shield me from evil people, the devil, and passions. 
20, hour 24. O oh Lord, you know your creation and what you have planned for it. May your will also be fulfilled in me, a sinner, for you are blessed forevermore. Amen. I hope that you can return next week for our next video devotional study. It may be another single standalone lesson, standalone lesson like today's, or it may be the first of another new series. I'm not even sure myself at the moment. But regardless of which path we find ourselves traveling next week, I hope that you will be able to join in viewing it once it has been posted online. Until then, I encourage you to make it a regular practice, to make time every day, to spend time in prayer to the Father, and to take time to study His Word. If you are not currently attending Bible study or worship services somewhere, I invite you to join us, to visit us at the Church of Christ in Pigram. I can promise that you will receive a warm welcome should you do so, and you'll also have an opportunity to get to know and to grow spiritually with a loving body of baptized believers in God, His Son, and His Spirit. I pray that God will bless you and your family each day. Please remember, I love each one of you. Take care.